In this video, I play some 2.2 levels from the recent tab. I challenge myself to beat 60 levels from this weird category, and weird levels are what I found. Also, for every level that I cannot complete, I will play a moldy challenge instead. Will I succeed, or am I destined to fail? We are about to find out. First up was this really easy level. If every level were like that, I would be done with this challenge in no time. But instead, up next came this. After escaping the first room, you enter some kind of city, exploring numerous buildings and interacting with other characters. I know that sounds cool, but you have to remember that we are talking about recent level quality here. Anyway, it has checkpoints which makes the level much less tedious. However, there is something you need to know. Since 2.2 is pretty buggy, there is like a 50% chance that after respawning from a checkpoint, the game just kicks you from the level, forcing you to restart from the beginning. And now, I will demonstrate. No. I hate this bug. But that didn't stop me. There was no way I would surrender to the second level of this challenge. I saw my exit, just through this door. However... That was unexpected. But that didn't stop me. Now I have a jetpack. I backtracked, looking for anything that could help me. I found nothing. Until this happened. What? I literally just made a video on 2.2 bugs. How did I not discover this? Then I realized that I was softlocked and had to restart from the very beginning. But that didn't stop me. I now knew the layout of the level, so I speed ran my way all the way back. Then I got kicked from the level again. But that didn't stop me. I ran all the way back again, but then clipped down here for the second time. But that didn't stop- no, no, that definitely stopped me. Yeah, I'm done. So now, I have to take on a moldy challenge instead. The first moldy challenge today ended up being rather easy, however, they would only get harder from here. Next up is this one trick level. I struggled initially, but after just spamming the mouse as fast as I could, I got through it. After that is, uh, this. The thing about this level is that it doesn't have any one thing that stands out about it as weird, but it is just a weird level overall. Honestly, it gives me a pretty uneasy feeling. Next up is this level with a very annoying first jump that got me every time I crashed, so it basically took me double the attempt count that it otherwise could have. Then I came across this seemingly innocent level until... Oh my gosh. It took me a few tries, but I did get past it. This next level was just wave spam. Fortunately, it uses the time warp trigger, making it actually, you know, possible. But even with that, you still have to click at a moderate pace, so when I got to the end, my hand sort of gave way. My hand hurts so much. After that, I got there again, but... I can't do this. However, I got an idea. I discovered that, once I get to this ending section, if I pause the game, my hand gets time for its health to regenerate. Yeah, so I did that and beat the level. Genius, I know. In the next level, I thought I was doomed, but then... No... Yes! The next level was also easy, except for this one spike that kept bullying me. I hate this stupid spike. Sorry, Spikey, I didn't mean it. Next up was a rather cursed level. I mean, just look at this. Near the end, it features a few clipping bugs, and fortunately for me, I've already been trained in the art of 2.2 bugs, so I managed to beat it without trouble. At least this level has a purpose. Unlike the next level. Like, it's just random objects spammed for no reason. The next level I played actually ended up being somewhat of a serious level. While it was long, it looked promising, even offering me the option to play one part auto. So, like any polite guest, I took that opportunity. At least until I found out there was a bug in the auto version. So I then tried it normally, but it turned out there was another auto section after with another bug, except I couldn't disable this one. I was getting pretty annoyed, so I I just I just I was getting pretty annoyed, so I decided to just take on a moldy challenge instead. But this one was special. Yeah, so I managed to get a creator with 74 creator points to make me a challenge. And they had no mercy. <laughs> this first jump was just annoying, this timing painful, and this troll evil. Fortunately, I didn't fall for it. Yes, I know your tricks, Swaffle. Next was this swingcopter challenge. Oh no. Fortunately, it turns out if I look up, an easier path appears. After that was this level with a really janky red orb part, although I managed to get through it. Following was a challenge where a bunch of different monsters tried to eat me. Next up was this challenge with completely blind gameplay, as well as a secret way. Or not. After I was reminded of all the orbs, portals, speeds, and... Jumpers? Next, I had to journey up a blue tower, except I didn't know where I was going. I missed every single platform. How do I miss every single platform? 
After finally climbing it, I collected the skull-shaped key and beat the level. However, what I found next frightened me. Oh no. Is it just me, or am I having some serious deja vu? Anyway, like the other wave challenges, this one also uses the time warp sugar to make it possible. Afterwards was a simple spider challenge. Next up was this coin maze. And like too many other levels from this update, the platformer controls hide the gameplay. What the heck? I gotta do something. After lowering the opacity of the controls, I collected all the coins, but this evil door just didn't open. For some reason, however, jumping down this pit opened it? After that, it took me a minute, but I figured out the rest of the puzzle and beat the level. Next up is this level. Once again, it's just another uncanny level with no explanation from the recent tab. Anyway, not long ago, you may have seen that Rob Top added a spider orb and spider pad to the game after seeing a fan-made creation by Omega Falcon. Well, someone recreated it, and here it is. No play this level. I am going to yes play this level. Anyway, after a time warp challenge, this dual challenge, and this auto level, I came across this weird layout. I hate this speed portal. I hate this triple spike. Afterwards, I came across a level with literally the most blind jumps and blind transitions I had ever seen. And if you know me, you know I hate blind transitions. Wow, the deja vu just came back again. I then entered this tower, but struggled to climb it because of this slope. <laughs> I did it. I beat the slope. Next up was, uh, just regular press start. Oh, never mind. Following that was this fellow's first level, and it actually has some pretty good decoration. The gameplay, on the other hand... No, seriously, it required me to do very precise navigation of the jetpack, navigation I was unable to do. Time for another moldy challenge. This challenge ended up being pretty fun, actually. I am very thankful for the dart block indicators. It made this challenge much more enjoyable. After this strange level, I entered... Oh gosh. Fortunately, it was a troll, so I didn't actually have to wait an hour. Next up, I found an Amogus. After that, though, was this. It doesn't look like much initially until you enter this part. Not only can you barely see where your icon is, but you can barely see what is coming up ahead. Anyway, I kept at the level and actually made it rather far, but there was this hidden part at the end where all gameplay was completely invisible, so I decided that I had better chances of taking on another moldy challenge instead. Turns out these odds weren't much better, as this was by far the hardest challenge I'd do in this video. It took me almost 10 minutes, but after intense practice... I did it. I did it. You've got to be kidding me. This next challenge was rather fun, but the ending section annoyed me a little. Who put these slopes upside down? No joke though, if this was a creative decision, it doesn't even look that bad. Next up was this level, and for some reason there are decorations that look the exact same, but with completely different intentions. This one's safe. This one's safe. This one's not safe. From these spikes that don't look dangerous but most definitely are, to the fact that some of these gears can actually destroy me, this level was tedious, but I did it. After this dark challenge, another time warp challenge because we don't have enough of those, and whatever this is, I came across this level. On the surface, it just looks like a normal recent level with bad colors, until... Yeah, my hand hurt after that. Next up was a bunch of GG's. Afterwards was this level where I supposedly have to die 4 times for win. Wait, I have to try. Guess you don't need to die 4 times. Next up was a challenge level, except it was actually hard. Moldy challenge time. Remember how I said that other challenge was by far the hardest? Turns out I underestimated you guys, as this challenge was even harder. It took me over 200 attempts and like 15 minutes total. Since this was a precision based challenge, it got to the point where I was leaning so close to my monitor to see every pixel. That was definitely not healthy, but I beat the challenge. After jumping some spikes, completing the swing copter challenge, and whatever this is, I had to do some math. After passing this level, I came across a wave challenge. This isn't that hard. No. Yeah, that scared me. Time for another moldy challenge. This challenge was rather easy, though I did have an 82% fail at the last straight fly. After that, I had to outrun these saws, but for some reason, jumped straight into this innocent fella on numerous occasions. Anyway, after making it up here, I flew through the sky with this bat. We eventually had to part ways, though. I'll never forget him. Next was this impossible level. It turns out low detail makes it possible though. Yeah, I learned a thing or two from the comments of my last video. Following was just cycles, but heavily nerfed. And I still somehow managed to die. 
I just died to cycles easy. Anyway, given another attempt, I beat the level. Now, there were only four levels left. Immediately after Cycles Easy, I navigated through all these tough obstacles. Afterwards, I came across this strange creation. Following that, I went through another Time Warp Challenge. Before I knew it, there was only one level left. If you've seen any of my previous videos, then you know I cannot lose to this final level. But I didn't know what to expect. It could be a free auto level, or an impossible spike field. But ultimately, I was given this. Please consider subscribing if you like this video, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, as always.